All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of B Major Gaming, this time with Fire Emblem Three Houses. Yes, I'm so excited. In case y'all didn't know, this is The Sleeper, Jamie, JWoww, and... Old Man Matt right here, finally back. All right, so I have never played a Fire Emblem game. So. And I've played a few, <laughs> so this is going to be fun. Um, hmm. I would suggest you start on normal. Okay. <laughs> and I would definitely suggest you play casual so that you don't worry about characters with permadeath. So I heard there are waifus in this. Yep. Waifus and husbandos. Ooh. Mm-hmm. All the options. I don't... Classic should I will risk be permadeath my, characters. Should I risk my love of my life forever? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, you can play this online play on this? Um, what it is, is it, when you're playing, um, you'll be able to see where other people have died on the field. Mm-hmm. And you'll also have a chance to, like, um, pick up items from, like, where they would have died and things like that. Okay. So okay. it's it's nothing direct, but it's very interesting. Gotcha. Imperial year 1991. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jamie was born. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not even gonna reply. It's true. I was born in 1991. <laughs> My, the animation in this game is really pretty for all the cutscenes. I'm seeing this. This is pre- oh, what meteor? No! <laughs> and then everything died. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> that's a superhero landing. True. Bad for your knees. Don't forget that. I thought that was about to be a javelin. I'm like heat javelin. <laughs> that's really hot. Like, how do you pick up a? Oh, uh, that sword. Magic. Magic. Well, we're just going to go with magic. It's Fire Emblem. So, I'm... Like I said... Oh, is that Paul Tina? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It doesn't look a lot like her. <laughs> I was like, hold on, bro. game. Oh, it's Catherine from the mm-hmm. uh, Catherine games. The one that's... Uh, yep. Uh, I forget. It's just the name of the game, right? Catherine? Yep. Okay. We're just coming out with its remake this year. Oh, it is a sword whip. Mm-hmm. It's like... Doesn't one of the Belmonts have one of those or something? <laughs> I don't know. Close enough. Sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll agree with you. I didn't really I didn't really play a whole lot of Castlevania. Mm-hmm. I was more Same. like a Sonic Mario. Yup. I didn't even own a SNES or NES. I went straight for that Genesis. Mm. We rented one. We were renting them, though. Back when renting consoles was cool. Right. Impossible. Back when it was the thing you could actually do. It made <laughs> yeah. sense. Yeah. Old Man versus Palutena. Mm-hmm. Damn Warrior Palutena. Oh, no! My belly button ring! <laughs> God, it looks like Gravios from Monster Hunter. You're right. It's like... Yeah. I see it. The worst monster. Paul! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hands ready to eat for everyone. Oh no, that's death. Do people like... You see dot like death? Well... Mm. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you ask that. <laughs> <laughs> You'll die for that. Die, die. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Do you see death? I think I gave you your answer though, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Yay, the possibly good guys won. <laughs> oh my god. That, them raising their uh, weapons in the air was like, reminded me of Kanye West. Put your diamonds in the sky and you feel <laughs> the vibe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoa. Dimension travel? Well, that's... But definitely like a modern okay mm-hmm. yeah i i don't know i shouldn't have started on this one i have a feeling <laughs> so funny thing this is actually supposed to be one of the better ones for a uh, newcomer to the games oh, okay like gameplay wise and everything the animation is really good mm-hmm. i don't know i kind of just started the game like <laughs> <laughs> right that was my reaction i was like that's a good question i wonder how you got in here oh she actually talks for me yep yeah, there's still voice acting even in the cutscenes or in the uh, talking. It's kind of rude, though. She called me rude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't even know who I am yet. How can I be rude? Oh, do I get to design my character? Not really. Oh. This one doesn't really give you. You get to choose gender, but no further, like, customization options. Really. Fair That's enough. That's one sad thing. It's long-haired Ike, <laughs> or Marth. I don't know. What's my mm-hmm. other one? It's girl long hair Ike. So Lucina, who's actually girl long hair Marth. Uh, yeah, <laughs> let's go with that. Girl character. Going girl. Yeah. Alrighty. 
I like her pendant. Mm -hmm. It's a little heavy looking. But it looks cool, so it's okay. Right. The true thing that mm -hmm. matters in any sort of RPG. <laughs> it's paper mache. <laughs> it's made of the lightest, yet the hardest material in the world. Uh, is this like choosing my attributes? Like magic, attack, and defense? Uh, do you want me to legitimately tell you what'll happen if you choose something? Oh my god. Because I can tell you what'll happen if you choose uh, the middle one. I'm totally gonna die if I choose that one. <laughs> uh... So... I'm going... Going ghost! Oh. Yep, she just scolds you. Hmm, tempting. Mm-hmm. I insta-die, I know it. That's I'm, it then. I'm going out. <laughs> I'm going for it. Oh. Now you're just making her mad. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> well, I guess I'm immortal then. <laughs> I thought this game was going to be a lot more punishing. This game's going to be hella easy. Uh, I mean, you did choose easy and you did choose casual, I think. Did you choose casual? I actually didn't see. I did. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad to know that. You must have a name. Oh, no. I get to name myself. Yep. That's just the automated name. Okay, you choose a name. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. That's Bruh. not correct. Uh, what does she look like? What? Um, I didn't expect this to be on me. This is your file. This is like female uh, Marth. Like, that's what she looks like. So, Martha? I'm going Martha. You know, Batman's and Superman's mom. How many characters do I have for this? Eight. Okay. Marthana. No. Marthane. We're going Martha. Just sticking with Martha? Stewart. <laughs> mm, Martha Stewart about to wreck the battlefield. <laughs> I can't put a period? Oh. No, because you're at eight characters. Uh, I told you how many yeah, you had. You're right. I, I wasn't thinking about the space. Spaces shouldn't count for that crap, man. <laughs> well, welcome to video games since, like, the 1980s. Oh, okay, yeah. You give me, like, five save files, but you can't give me more than eight characters. But that, oh, there. what? Okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I play a lot of PlayStation, even though I was just playing my Switch before I got here. That does not help your argument at all. Yeah. Capital. Yay, you figured it out. <laughs> okay. I'm clicking the plus button mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and clicking it again. And then you choose yes. Yay! Who? Our oh. biggest challenge yet has been Ooh. overcome. I did it. Huh, I should never. I'll never. I can't read. That's what she says it for me. All right, time to go. <laughs> Why does it matter? Does this matter a whole lot? Ah, uh, yes, actually, this does matter because, um, like, you actually go through the months throughout the game and you'll actually see different people's birthdays and stuff and you'll give you can give presents to people and they can give presents to you hmm i like the pegasus moon and the guardian's cool mm -hmm, mm -hmm. cool. all these are cool yep i like blue sea as well um i'm going ethereal yeah. actually no i'm gonna go with the lone moon yeah we's a loner i'm going with my birthday nice that's what i did with my file how do I select? Oh, look, there we go. Yep. Okay, I was expecting the plus button. It's keeping <laughs> me on my toes. <laughs> oh, and also, if you want it to auto advance, you can just hit the X button and it'll literally auto advance as she talks. Oh. Throughout uh, cutscenes and everything. Okay. Does she say that for everybody's birthday? It makes me feel unspecial. <laughs> That I won't tell you the truth, so, <laughs> so you can feel more special. That's telling me the truth! What? <laughs> no! That's your fault for figuring it out. Another, hey, it's me. Another nap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sleep. She went right back to sleep. She's like, I'm going to insult you, I'm going to say that your name's weird, and then I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> sleep for 10,000 years. Cool. Yeah. Um, Which one were you dreaming about? Um, This isn't weird. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Mystery I, RPG elements already. I have a complaint. Mm -hmm. The audio for the voices and the recording, from what I can tell, does not sound great. It's like, it's kind of like weird. Like, I don't know. It just doesn't sit right. I don't know. It feels like I'm playing like a ROM, like a like an old like PC game <laughs> that was like put on a, a floppy. Keep it playing. feels like it. 
Like, I, I do not understand this complaint at all, honestly. We're playing on a tablet, okay? Mm, that hurts. <laughs> the tablet. That's probably about the size of two floppy disks or less. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. Uh, I told you it's far from here. Um, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, yeah, sure. That's what I'll say if I wasn't normally paying attention. Damn, he was not happy with your answer. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Because you were not paying attention. <laughs> well, you have orange clothes. Ooh. You, you trying to call him a Naruto? I'm trying to say he'll die in battle because he'll be exposed. <laughs> that's red clothing. Um, yeah, that's true. Haven't you watched Star Trek? Yeah. I know the rules. So true. That Picard movie looks good, though. It does. Definitely going to see that. Intrusion. I have to actually read and like pay attention and respond. Yeah. I'll tell you right now, these three are like the big center of the story. Okay. So make sure you pay attention to the three and decide which one you like. Okay, so the blonde guy can go, because he <laughs> looks like he can be a jerk. <laughs> mm. Just because he's got that pretty boy thing going on for him? Uh, yeah, kinda. He looks like he can be kind of snobby. That's fair. Same Dimitri. <laughs> hmm. Really? So, I'm just gonna go back to sleep. I really don't want to do this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go back to sleep. This is for my character. Whoa! You kind of snuck up on us. Hey, yo. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> you get to experience your first true Fire Emblem battle. Um. So how's it? I don't. How's it play? Oh, gotta say first. Um, it's a grid-based, like a turn-based uh, tactical game. Uh, this guy, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, Fire Emblem. They'll have similar battle systems yeah i've played those games before no you haven't i know that's why this is gonna be fun this is a new experience for you whoa are we like loading in reverse she was like running back and yeah forth. it's a really interesting little loading screen because they also use like the old school graphics for it i actually really like it yeah it's pretty charming so is this kind of like union and cross like uh kingdom Heart- like kingdom hearts union and cross kind of sort of not, not really. really oh sad day because that's about the only thing it looked like to me all right so yeah i do pay attention to the first battle because it tells you like all the basics and everything like movement and all that good stuff okay so it's kind of like chess a little bit yeah a little bit like ch- like that's kind of the way these games are it's very uh strategy based okay why are you units next to an enemy Use the command window and it will open. Okay. I'm going to tap and choose a weapon. Okay. And I played enough of these that if you do have questions, I can help you out some. But, like, you choose one of your characters. So the red line shows you that, you know, they can move close, and that's the person they're probably going to target and try to attack on their turn. Okay, so she's a thief. That's what it said, at least. No, he's a thief. Huh? Oh! That's your enemy. That's the first enemy. Uh, The blue squares show you how far they can move. And then the red squares show you uh, their attack range or where they can't move to. Um, If you move her, like if you hover over her, you can see how the blue goes all the way up to that guy's right side. Yeah. So you can, you know how far you can move, you know, you can get within range. You have, um, you have like uh, the close range fighters, like swords, axes, uh, spears. And you have the long distance fighters like this dude with the bow who are going to attack people who are like two squares away from him. Okay. And then him you can't control because he's just an ally unit. So I'm going to choose Edgelord. <laughs> I'm not lying to I kept on reading that too. <laughs> when I was playing earlier, I was like, why do I keep on reading Edgelord? <laughs> so yeah, you choose her. Okay, uh, hit B once. Huh? Okay, so now uh, try and move forward. Okay, okay yeah, you have, to hu- you have to highlight her one more time. I have to hire once more. Yeah, so hit A once. Uh huh. Okay, and then there you go. The arrow shows you that you're moving her around. Okay. Yep. So I can hit. Yep. A button. Okay. And that show that gives you like a little graphic of roughly what's to ex- be expected. Like sometimes there will be a critical. Sometimes they can dodge. So things won't always be the exact result you're seeing, but it gives you a rough idea. So she has 23 health and he has like two? Uh, after they take damage, yeah. See, their max health, hers would be 29, his would be 18. But her might is how much damage she can do to him. 16 to his six. Okay. And then you have hit for accuracy. And then the crit is for your crit chance. Yoke. But if you're level one, so you don't have much crit chance. They don't either. Their crit is shit. Let's mm-hmm. go. Let's go! Out. <laughs> Edgelord. She good, she good. She's alive. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Weapon durability. A weapon will break when repeating use. Yeah, pretty much it's simple that you can see how much durability a weapon has. Every time you use it, it loses durability. Okay. You can still use a weapon when it's broken, but it will be much less useful. And you will be able to, um, like, buy new weapons, get new weapons, and fix old weapons. Okay. 
Okay, so right. should I attack with somebody so, else or her? Yeah, if you if you want to finish them off, uh, characters can only attack once per turn. They can only do like one movement and one action per turn. One edge lord. Um, she's already done her thing. Oh, so she can't attack again. Right. Yeah. Every care each character can only attack or attack and move once per turn. So now remember, he's your archer. This guy. So it, yeah. So if you move him one more at uh, one back, you can move him right there, uh-huh. and then he could still shoot that guy with his bow and arrow. Oh, it's telling yeah, about bows now. Slinging and them bows. yeah, archers are also really good against uh, flying units. Okay. So like right here. Yeah. So how can I tell that? Uh, just it's just a natural fact. Like um, if you actually if you try to uh, move him forward and then move uh, choose to try to attack him like you did with her. Like this? Like, uh, move one up on him. Like, like here? Yeah, and then try... See how the arrow stops him right there? Right. So it's telling you that he'll actually attack from a distance. Oh! So the thing about archers is that they can attack from a distance, but they can't counterattack if they're attacked at close range. Gotcha. Do an attack. Go the only weapon we have. Yep. Boom. He didn't take no damage. He used to be a thief before he took an arrow to the knee. Oof. <laughs> Ooh, brought back an old one. <laughs> Gosh. All kids know what we're talking about because it's been rebooted like five times. Right? Yeah, they just brought it back on Switch. <laughs> oh, gosh. You get the- oh, we're with new Breath of the Wild Champions Tunic. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Use the battle. And this is uh, just different stuff you can do while you're in the battlefield. Battle phases. You have your turn where you get to move all of your characters, and then the enemy gets their turn moving all of their characters. I thought he had a turn to attack me just. It was a counter. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that means that your characters also get counters. Okay. So whenever somebody is attacked at close range, the they can counter attack. Mm-hmm. If an archer is attacked at by another archer, they can counter attack. So pretty much, if their attack distances match, then they can counter each other. So the enemy phase is just them beating the crap out of you. Got I it. mean, that's them attempting to at least. Yeah. I mean, once we like get through the game, it's mm-hmm. definitely gonna. Be- oh, Oh, yeah, yeah, especially in later stuff, yeah, you're just gonna get attacked a lot. And you don't want to move your characters forward, the ones that you haven't moved yet. Okay, I guess I'll move this guy. Yeah. And then you can just use the weight. Okay. And now, um, if you move her, yeah, move move your character up to them. You can also sometimes have the option to talk to characters that you're in battle with. And doing that will sometimes upgrade your, um, your, like, um, your support with them and stuff. Okay. Like how in a lot of games nowadays you have that whole, like, Oh, I like the like in Mass Effect when you talk to characters. The more you talk to them, the more they'll like you and things like that. Right. You can do that kind of stuff in this game. Okay, I'm gonna try to talk to Edge Lord. You say you're a mercenary, so show me what you can do. Okay. And then you can also talk to the other guy. Oh, because okay. that apparently does not use up your turn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't trust you. <laughs> right. Oh, what? I thought I could move everybody. You did. You moved all four of your characters. Oh, I did move, old boy. Yeah. Yeah, what I do like about this first battle is that they do tell you a lot of the very mm. important basics for the game. Okay. Like this right here. Turn will have effects. Oh, all right. That's cool. Mm-hmm. This is really strategy based. Yep. All right. So I have another turn? It's They they ended their turn. Like Since it's the first battle, they're showing you the basics, making it not super hard for you on the first battle. I'm going to make sure that I don't die. How behind this bush? Remember, you only get the terrain effect if you're in oh, the I'm terrain. In this? Yeah, see at the top left when you hover over it? Uh oh. So her you can move her into that terrain. Put in bush. And then she has that plus thirty evade and plus one defense. Hey. And now she's getting all their attention. Terrain Different types. terrain types. Okay. And of course, the enemies can also use terrain to their advantage. So it's good to try and take over terrain before they can use it. Okay. Yep. I'm going to put him right there. I'm going to wait. And then you still, you still have your archer dude. Yeah. Yeah, wait. I'd keep him at a distance since he's your archer. And then you can just bring him up to attack whoever needs to be attacked. I'm going to put him right there. And I'm going to kind of pause it. Um, I don't oh. know if you can do it during their turn. Okay. Ooh, nice. Yeah. And that's why terrain is amazing. <laughs> Dang. Oh, boss. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, he didn't get hit? Nah, he dodged that. I'm mad. I want him to, <laughs> I want him to die. <laughs> All right, and now it's your turn, so we can uh, just pause it here if you need to. All right, guys. I think this is going to be the end of an episode. And, uh, oh, well, this is a thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to leave it here, and uh, this will be the end of episode. Uh, guys, if you like this, uh, this uh, I guess, new content, we haven't really played an RPG in a while, um, give us a comment. Tell us how much you like it. How much you hate it. If, if you yeah. love it, no... 
we really appreciate it if you give us a like. And if you subscribe, that would be even better. Yep. All right, guys. Sweet dreams. And until next time, see ya. Hit it. Hit it.